This video is about connecting the Montana Sound Unit to Apple TV, PlayStation and other HDMI products. We've connected our TV via HDMI and we're using the Montana Sound Unit output. Now we want to use Montana Sound Unit HDMI 1, 2 or 3 input. We've chosen an Apple TV box and we'll take our HDMI cable, connect it to the HDMI connector on the Apple TV box and then connect it to the, for instance, HDMI 2 on the Montana Sound Unit to connect Apple TV to Montana MSU. Now we've connected our Apple TV box via HDMI to Montana MSU and the Montana Sound Unit to HDMI to the TV. Now we'd like to show how to connect a PlayStation 4 with CEC technology, which means that when you turn on the PlayStation 4, it turns on Montana MSU and then the Montana Sound Unit turns on the TV. We've chosen a PlayStation 4 and now we want to connect it to the Montana Sound Unit, which is connected to our TV via HDMI. Now the PlayStation 4 is connected via HDMI to our Montana Sound Unit and we're ready to start. We've connected our TV to Montana MSU using the CEC and ARC HDMI technology. Now we want to set up a PlayStation. The PlayStation isn't set up by default, as is neither the Montana Sound Unit nor the TV. We've connected them via the PlayStation HDMI output and the Montana Sound Unit HDMI input. Go to Settings by using the remote control. Then go to System Setup. Then go to Enable. As you can see, it's not enabled. We have to enable our HDMI device link or they can't communicate. Then we're good to go back, back, back. Then we can turn it off here. And we turn it off here. And we can turn off our TV. If you want to turn on the PlayStation 4 and play via the Montana Sound Unit to see the images on the TV, and get the sound through the speakers, just turn on your PlayStation. It takes a short while to start after I press on. Thanks to the intelligent connection, the PlayStation 4 starts the Montana sound unit, which starts the TV. And then we're ready to play via our PlayStation 4.